In the last lecture, we had seen the shaft design on the strength basis. In that, we have started that when the shaft is subjected, that is the separately or the only axial tensile force or the bending moment or the torsional moment, right? So, in every time that whatever the force it is applied, it is separately. But now, here we will see when uh, there is a combination of the load at that time, how to design, right? Every time we will not get the only one type of the load. Uh, so, here we are going to focus that when the load is combined on this. So, here uh, we will consider the two cases uh, to find out the maximum the tensile stress or the combined stress that is the maximum. The case one is what uh, here. Right, the shaft is subjected to the axial force, bending moment, and the torsional moment. So these are the three types of the load. Right. So on the shaft, suppose uh, this is on the shaft on uh, which the first we can see the axial force. This is the axial force P which it is acting, and the bending moment due to the weight of that uh, it may uh, bend like this. So this is the uh, bending moment and then the torsional and if it is transmitting the torque then whatever the torque acting on that so that is the case one we can say what is the case one here the axial force bending moment and the torsional moment so this is the type one so here the sigma x is equal to the sigma t and the sigma b so this is the bending and this is the axial the force. So, this is the axial force and this is the bending and torsional it is resultant that is the sigma b. Now, in the case second uh, here what we are doing uh, the shaft is subjected to the bending moment and the torsional that is only bending and torsional here no any axial force that is acting. So, this component that is what it is 0 the axial force that is not there. So, therefore, what you will get the sigma x is equal to the sigma b. So, whatever the combined resultant of the bending and torsion it is there that is the maximum the load or maximum stress acting on that the shaft. Now, we will apply the theories of the uh, failure, right. So, the first the maximum uh, principal stress theory is that the shaft it is subjected to the bending and torsion moment. So, without any axial force means here we are considering the case 2 that is sigma x is equal to sigma b. Now, in the previous lecture already we found out what is the bending stress sigma b is equal to 32 m b divided by pi d cube. m b is the bending moment, d small it is the diameter of the shaft this already we calculated. Then the shear stress induced in the shaft when there is a torque acting on that shaft. So, we know that the capital T is equal to pi by 16 uh, uh, that is the pi d cube. But here we are rearranging, therefore, the shear stress is equal to we will get 16 t divided by pi d q, right. So, according to this principal stress theory, we know that the sigma 1, the maximum stress is equal to sigma x by 2 plus under root sigma x by 2 bracket square plus the t square. So, here uh, we calculated sigma x is what the bending stress. So, sigma x is equal to sigma b, that is the case, uh, the second which we consider. So, therefore, we know the value of the sigma x that we will put here and we know the value of the torque T that we will put here, right. So, <coughs> here uh, we will put, so here it is the tau, right. So, this here stress it is, this is the tensile and this is the shear tau. So, after putting the value of the sigma x here 32 uh, mb pi d cube, so that we kept here and denominator 2 as it is, similarly again here sigma x value 32 mb pi d cube divide by 2 this 2 value and this the tau that is 16 t pi d cube that we kept here 16 t pi d cube it is bracket square. Now next so this 2 and here we will get the 16 then similarly again here 2 and here we will get it is 16 right. So 16 uh, pi d cube it is square 16 pi d cube square that we will take outside and again here 16 pi d cube. So the same uh, this is what 16 pi d cube and here again 16 pi d cube that is the common and here again it is 16 pi d cube this is the common this uh, it is square. So, these two I will take common it is square and again 
if I take outside of the square root, then you will get the 16 pi d cube. And again, here 16 pi d cube, and here outside 16 pi d cube, that you will take outside. So, sigma 1 maximum stress is equal to 16 pi d cube. Here in bracket, you will get this mb plus under root, uh, this is mb square plus uh, this is a t square, that is the uh, torque square. So, that is what we will get the equation that when we apply the maximum uh, principal stress uh, theory. So, uh, the permissible value of the maximum principal stress theory uh, using which we find out this, the sigma 1 uh, that we will get how uh, that is the ultimate yield strength uh, divided by the uh, factor of uh, safety. So, <coughs> uh, but uh, here if you see uh, this is what the principal stress theory, but uh, we say that generally whatever the shafts we are uh, manufacturing that is of the ductile material, but uh, this maximum principal stress theory uh, already we studied, it gives uh, the good result for the brittle material and uh, for the shaft we are using the ductile material. So, uh, hence uh, this theory is not applicable for the shaft design. Uh, right, so that is why what we will do, uh, we will try to avoid this theory, but in few of the cases uh, uh, we may use, but uh, generally we are not uh, going to use this the principal stress theory. Now uh, there is one term that the equivalent uh, bending moment, the name itself indicate it is equivalent, this value is equivalent to the uh, sum of the value of the uh, bending moment. Now, we will see the uh, definition, what it is. The equivalent uh, bending moment is defined as the bending moment which when acting alone will produce the same bending stresses uh, that is the tensile or compressive in the shaft under the combined action of bending moment and the torsional moment means again what we are doing here we are comparing the things right suppose this is uh, for example if i take uh, the uh, one like uh, simply supported beam and on which there is some load w so when i calculate so here uh, you will get uh, some the bending moment diagram so here whatever the maximum value is there uh, that mb that is the maximum bending moment so this is in case of this simple but here uh, whenever there is uh, the uh, bending moment and the twisting moment and uh, uh, the combination of these two value it should be equal to this value whatever if I consider the 100 uh, Newton meter that is the bending moment right. So the combination of these two value it should be near about the 100 only so it should not exceed in the combined case. Simple case and combined case and simple case value a combined case equal as required. That, that is uh, the thing, right? So, we say it has the equivalent uh, the uh, bending uh, moment. So, the expression uh, which already we had seen uh, what it is the sigma 1 is equal to uh, 16 pi d cube here in bracket mb plus under root mb square plus tau square. Uh, if we uh, neglect that the 16 pi d cube, the remaining term uh, in the bracket. Uh, that we can say it as a the equivalent the bending uh, moment. Now similarly uh, what we will do we will apply this uh, the maximum shear stress theory right. So the, what is the maximum shear stress theory that is the tau max is equal to sig under root sigma x by 2 root square uh, bracket square plus the uh, here again it is uh, this shear stress that is the uh, tau x square and again in the similar way which we calculated in case of the principal stress theory, uh, we will put the value of the sigma x and the tau. Uh, we know the same value sigma x is equal to 32 mb uh, divided by pi d cube and tau is equal to 16 t pi d cube. So, these two value again we will put uh, in the above equation and in the similar way, so this two, this uh, will get cancelled, so here it is 16, so 16 pi d cube, 16 pi d cube that we will take the uh, outside. Uh, then uh, we will get that is the 16 pi d cube uh, here uh, in bracket under root uh, mb square bending moment square plus t square that is the torque square. So, this is uh, the equation uh, we will get that is the maximum uh, the shear stress produced in this the shaft. So, term max. 
and uh, the according uh, to the maximum shear stress theory uh, what we say that uh, the ssy is equal to 0.5 sy t so if we uh, have the yield strength uh, then if we want the shear stress value then uh, the 0.5 times of that yield strength we take so ssy is equal to 0.5 uh, sy t and then again uh, the permissible value of the maximum shear stress uh, how, what we will do uh, we always prefer uh, the factor of safety so for the safer working so the maximum shear stress if you want to find out whatever the uh, shear stress you got and uh, divide it by the factor of safety then you will get the maximum the allowable shear stress value the tau max uh, we can say so the ssy value we calculated so 0.5 ssy t divided by factor of safety so this is what we will get uh, the maximum shear stress uh, this theory uh, maximum shear stress which we say it is uh, applicable for the ductile material and again uh, here uh, in the last the theory also we said uh, that uh, we use the material ductile material for the shaft and again this theory is good for the ductile material so it is uh, more logical to apply this theory for the shaft design rather than the designing the shaft on the basis of the principal stress theory because the principal stress theory is good for the metal material so as we are using ductile material so this the maximum shear stress theory uh, that uh, we prefer uh, in case of the uh, shaft design so again here uh, the one term that the equivalent the torsional uh, moment again we can say so it is similar uh, which we said that again here we are comparing the standard case and the combined effect so what it is the equivalent torsional moment is defined as the torsional moment uh, which will uh, get uh, when it is acting alone uh, will produce the same torsional uh, shear stress uh, in the shaft when it is uh, under the combination of the bending moment and uh, the torsional moment right so in the simple case whatever the maximum value of the torsional moment you will get and due to the rotor stress you will get the same stress value if you get under the action of this bending moment and the torsional moment uh, that we can say these two value are the equal that is what the equivalent the torsional moment we can say so again uh, here the expression what it is uh, that uh, the <coughs> so 16 pi d cube uh, the uh, term which is outside the bracket if we uh, kept aside uh, then the remaining term inside the bracket that is what the uh, equivalent the torsional moment we can say so this is what uh, we are applying uh, the two theories of failure uh, in case of the uh, design of the shaft.